Hello, looky back. It's Josie Lamarge. I'm here today because, you know, it's, it is, it is important that uh, we talk a little bit about what's happening right now in Quebec. We're going into provincial elections. Yes, we are. And so, we just, and with this provincial election, know that we're coming out of a... Uh, the last um, mandate was with a minority government led by Pauline Marois, and uh, so now she's she's uh, she's launched out uh, an election. Okay, maybe she feels that she's got momentum, and uh, that she will get her majority government. Now, uh, what's important too is for people to know that. Put in Marwa what she represents. She basically represents a uh, Quebec uh, who will, you know, who will strive to separate from Canada. Okay. So now uh, she's done this, and she's probably going to go and and have, uh, you know, a lot of Quebecers uh, decide to vote for her without thinking of what uh, uh, what would happen if she would actually win. You know, it wouldn't be very good for Quebec. It really wouldn't be good. And I don't. And I think that everybody should just, you know, look at everything. Even go and research what she does, what she's done. Now, to see if really a vote uh, for Pauline Marois will be a good vote to do. Now, um, because Pauline Marois would like to separate. She would like to bring a référendum et séparer le Québec du Canada. She would like to do the separation, which, you know, a lot of times the Parti Québécois had tried to, to, to pass a referendum or however you would call it to separate, and it never worked. And now she, I suppose she feels that this is the time to do it, you know, and this is why I think it's very important for all Québécois to, to really take this... Um, to really take this um, election very seriously and not to just decide to go and vote, uh, you know, Le Parti Québécois just because we're in Quebec, you know, the, that means that if you vote for Le Parti Québécois and they win, they will have a referendum to separate Quebec from Canada and is that what you really want, you know? And I think a lot of Quebecers don't really know, you know, what that would entitle. You know, like, uh, I think we should just even go back to the Olympics. We just came out of Olympics. And I, as I can see that during the Olympics, a lot of Quebecers did win medals. You know, and how proud they were to hold up their Canadian flag. Okay. So now Pauline Marois has it in her mind that Quebecers were not proud to hold their flag. I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. But anyways, she is just destruction, okay? She really is destruction. I, for one, truly believe that she, I mean, she's not nice. And she's not nice to her Anglos in Montreal because I'm here and I have, you know, a lot of Anglo friends in Montreal and and they really feel like they're a bit of second, cl second class or, you know, they don't really matter because they're not, you know, the francophones. And that's not nice. I really don't believe that that is nice because I think that we should be able to respect both the Anglos and the francophones. Knowing that the francophones are a lot in Quebec because that's where a lot of francophones from Canada live and were born. You know, we respect that. But it doesn't mean that you will take all these Anglos that were born uh, in Quebec and not give them the time of day, you know, or just have them as some type of second-class citizen or as they do not matter as much. To me, that's terrible. And so now I'm just going to switch a little bit in French here. Puis j'aimerais juste dire à tous les, les Québécois, les jeunes Québécois uh, qui vont aller voter, de vraiment regarder pour qui on vote, pourquoi on vote. Si on vote pour une Pauline Marois, euh, elle a fait des promesses au passé pour l'éducation. Est-ce est est -ce que, est -ce que ces promesses ont été respectées? Est-ce que, est que Pauline Marois va, va vraiment amener un futur meilleur 
pour le Québec pour que on tombe sur un référendum pour faire des séparations pour quitter le Canada. Est-ce que vous voulez vraiment quitter le Canada? Moi, c'est juste des questions comme ça que j'aimerais poser euh, aux jeunes Québécois. Aux jeunes Québécois, puis euh, juste pour qu'ils se posent des questions. Oui, c'est vrai que c'est on est fiers de parler français. Moi, je suis très fière de parler français. Même quand j'avais déménagé à Toronto, puis je vivais là, puis on me demandait, « oh euh, quand je parlais français un peu, ils me disaient « Oh, where, where are you from? » Puis là, je disais « Mais je viens d'Ottawa, mais plus, euh, je suis plus euh, québécoise, francophone. » Et puis, and I, I saw the love that was given to me. I, I really did see the love. And so, I don't believe that the rest of Canada doesn't like Quebec because Quebec speaks French. I really don't believe that. I believe it's propaganda given by these... Um, politicians saying that the rest of Canada doesn't like you. It's not true. The rest of Canada doesn't hate you. They like you. And I just think that we should... Uh, in Marois should just not win a majority government. I mean, she had a mi minority government, and we saw all the mean things that she wanted to do. I mean, she wasn't only mean to the Anglos, but she was mean to the, uh, to the Arabs who had the veil and, and other things, you know? So, I mean, do we really think that she's going to care about you when when she's she has her majority government? Let's just see what she's going to do if she does get that. So anyways, I hope she never gets a majority government. I really hope she never gets one. Anyway, it was just an idea here that I wanted to put out because we are going in the elections, and I, and I love to watch to watch all the debates on TV, I, you know, it's, I've always been that way. I don't know why, I think it's more my, because of my dad. My dad's always been very into the politics. I remember when I, was, I had come of age to vote, my father was so excited, even more excited than me, to take me to, to vote, you know? And so for me, it's always been important to, to just have a say and to know what's going on, you know? in our society and stuff. So on that, you know, it's just something that I wanted to say. J'aimerais aussi dire encore en français à tous mes, mes Québécois, mes jeunes Québécois, de aller voter et de faire un, un vote euh, intelligent, un, un vote qui peut qui peut faire grandir le Québec, qui fait que les on n'a pas des partisans du Québec des des, des personnes qui sont nées au Québec qui tout d'un coup, ils quittent. Ils quittent le Québec. OK? Alors, c'est très important. Another thing I just wanted to say is, like, you know how there was uh, the brain drain, I guess, the United States was doing at one time. You know, a lot of Canadians were moving to the States and stuff like that. You know, the salaries were bigger and, and so forth. But, you know what's happening in Québec is that the Anglos are leaving. I see it on the news. I see it through my friends who have, you know, decided, you know what, I'm in Quebec. I want to stay in Quebec, but Quebec doesn't, is not helping me. So they, they leave, you know, and these are the intelligent, educated, and they're leaving this province that we need this. We need this. Okay, anyways, enough is enough, but it's just something now that I'm going to speak a lot about and, and such. Okay, okay, bye.